It's a weight loss weights workout that's perfect for women of a certain age. Grab a light to moderate pair of dumbbells and when you're ready, I'm ready. Let's go. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and get moving and grooving. Have your dumbbells completely out of the way and we're gonna get started with our warm up with some arm circles and high knees. And yes, I already started my timer. You guys, welcome to the workout. I am Paula B, your best middle-aged fitness friend. And today I have, I have such a great workout for us. This is all strength training, no cardio today, which happens to be perfect for weight loss with no transitions up and down from the ground. And we're using a nice model moderate pair of dumbbells today. Now, depending on what you have available to you, I'm hoping that you have something light enough that it's not going to feel like too much of a stretch for you. And if the dumbbells that you do have feel kind of heavy today, feel free to drop weights. Go get a couple of cans of beans from your pantry or a couple of water bottles. We are not trying to go super duper heavy today. Also, you can open up the description below and get the exact three pair set that I have from Amazon that's right here next to me. I will very likely be changing up my weights during today's workout. I am intentionally going at a moderate pace with moderate weights because that's best for weight loss. Now, if you have never done one of my workouts before, you might not have heard that message before. I know so often we hear that in order to lose weight, you just have to go harder and heavier and bigger and faster and more and cardio, cardio, cardio. And I want to talk to you today about how that is actually not true at all. <laughs> I mean, well, it might have been true when we were younger. Let's go ahead and do some arm crossers with booty kickers. But now, at this age, the fact is the driver of weight loss is eating the right amount of calories consistency, consistently. Everything else that we do is kind of for other reasons. Exercise is actually meant as a treat to your body. It's supposed to feel good and help you feel strong. It's supposed to have all kinds of physical and health benefits, which it absolutely does, but it doesn't really make you lose weight. And so we're going to talk about that today while we are doing our fantastic strength workout with moderate weights. Now, you guys, if you don't know what moderate feels like for you, I want you to know that it'll probably, if this is the first time that you're trying to use moderation, it'll probably feel too easy, honestly. And that's one of the hardest parts about moderating is that it'll almost feel like it wasn't enough, like you didn't work out hard enough, like you're not sore the next day, like you're not tired, you're not exhausted. And that is the real key. That's why this workout is actually so effective. So make sure that you are using really excellent form today with whatever weights you have. And if you can't quite maintain excellent form, drop your weights. Everything that we're doing today truly could be done without weights at all, especially if you're brand new to exercise. And if you are, my goodness, let's go ahead and do some welcome to my homes. That was perfect timing. Welcome to my home where we work out. You guys, my mission is to make sure that your workouts are just right for you at any age, but specifically at our age. You guys, I've got my handy dandy gym boss here, you've noticed already, set for rather long intervals of a minute and a half. And what we're going to be doing the next time it beeps, we're going to grab our light to moderate dumbbells and we're going to get started with some single sided exercises. Today is a repeating no repeat. We're going to do each exercise for what ends up being two intervals, but it'll be one interval on one side and then the second interval on the other side. We're going to get started with a step out squat to press, which is basically exactly what it sounds like. You're going to pick one leg to stand on. The other leg is going to step out into a squat and on that same side, we'll also perform a press up as we come back to our regular standing. It'll make so much more sense when you see it, I know, but just in case you can't see it or you're looking at something else or whatever, I want you to know how to be able to do these exercises with awesome form. And the number one thing that you need to keep in mind with awesome form is holding in your core, really pulling your belly button to your spine and thinking about standing up straight and tall and making sure sure that you're listening to your body, truly. Let's go ahead and grab those dumbbells and let's get started. 
So we're gonna start with the weights right here about chest height. We're gonna step out and down into a squat. As we come back up, that same arm is going up. So step out into a squat, step back in and press up. And yes, this is all one-sided. So it's the same leg stepping out, the same arm pressing up. When it beeps again, and we've got plenty of time, my friends, <laughs> plenty of time. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. This is what it looks like today, this kind of pace. And in fact, I'm already gonna tell you, if, if this feels a little bit fast, if it already feels a little bit cardio, a little bit tough, feel free to slow it down. If your weights are super, super light, you might also be really tempted to go faster, but I want you to understand that today is not about going fast. Today is about thinking, thinking about different benefits. You know, I know that what you're looking for is weight loss. I totally get that. And I promised you that by calling this a weight loss weights workout. But as we already mentioned, the thing that drives weight loss is what you're eating, not what you're doing. So let's talk a little bit about what else you can get out of today's workout. If we're not just thinking about, oh, burning calories and getting that burn and trying to get buff and big with our muscles, and then we're going ahead and do that. I'm gonna scoot over just so that I'm thinking about it differently. We're gonna step out and squat, and as we step in, press up. Oh my goodness, okay, this feels so different on this side. <laughs> weird to me every time how it does that. Single-sided exercises remind me constantly that one side of my body feels more coordinated, one side of my body feels more strong, one side of my body just feels more I guess attached to my brain is the way I'm gonna say that. And that's actually some of the benefits that I wanted to talk to you about today. If we're not just talking about burning, 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 you know, what are we getting out of today? Before I get into that though, let me tell you that what we're gonna do next is something called front kick side raises. And what that means is that one of our legs is going to kick out to the front while the opposite hand across your body is doing a side raise. So both of your hands are just gonna be relaxed at your sides with your palms facing your body. But as we are kicking, we are going to simultaneously raise one hand out directly to the side with your palm facing the ground, working those delt muscles up at the tops of your shoulders, as well as your core, absolutely, always got our core pulled in, Whew. and, and it's one of my favorite exercises actually for knee strengthening. Okay, so I'm going to think really hard about this. I'm going to stand on my left leg, and my right leg is going to kick while my left arm is raising out to the side. Okay. This is gonna take a couple of seconds. <laughs> so raise the knee, kick out the foot, and then come back. Same side, same arm, the entire interval. This, my friends, is probably one of the biggest benefits that we're getting out of today. This is coordination. Now, I know you've already noticed, of course, by standing on one leg, that we're working on balance as well. When we work on balance, we are automatically working on core strength. Now, because I've already told you that we're supposed to be pulling in our core for all of these exercises, Exercises. We were already working on core strength. In fact, pretty much any time you're moving, if you are thinking about pulling in your core, you are working on core strength, specifically with my workouts, because I try to remind us very frequently. But this, this kind of across the body strength work, slow moving strength work, where you really have to think about where your body is in space and time. We're working on something called proprioception which is kind of what I was talking about, about your head being attached to your body. And it's something that is a little surprising to me. After, I mean, I've, okay, let's, whew, let me think about this. Standing on my right leg, kicking with my left foot, right arm goes out. Okay, much easier on the side raise, much harder on the front kick. <laughs> I know you can't hear it, but my knee and my ankle, and I think even one of my toes is popping on this one. Oh my goodness. But my friends, I have been a personal trainer now for 
oh my gosh, eight years, a little bit more than eight years. And I was, I was working on my own athleticism even before that. And I will tell you that I am still constantly thinking about where my body is and what it is doing. It is, it is a skill that takes pretty much daily practice. You guys, when it beeps again, we're going to come back on the other side with a different exercise. We're going to do a front raise back kick. Now this isn't like a full on kicking your foot all the way back. It's basically just picking up your foot and kind of raising it a couple of inches behind you while we're doing a front raise. So again, palms facing your body until one palm is facing the ground, but instead of beside you, it's in front of you. And again, we're going to be across the body like this. This kind of cross body work is especially good for core strengthening, especially good for practicing balance. And I mean, speaking of practicing balance, my friends, balance is always a practice. Okay, I'm gonna stand on my left leg first. I'm gonna push my right leg back behind me while raising my left arm and then standing up again. Okay, so palms face your body and then that left arm, that left hand, palm faces the ground. Let me come to the side a little bit so you can see. I'm not tipping over very far. I'm trying to get the dumbbell raised to just about shoulder height. This is totally going to depend on what kind of weights you have. Again, my friends, let me tell you, if you are feeling like these weights are a little bit heavy, like it's a little bit sweaty, a little bit struggly, drop your weights, my friends. There is literally no benefit to be had from lifting something that's too heavy for you. And I know that lots of trainers would love to tell you, oh, lift heavier, lift heavier, lift heavier. And that is appropriate when you are specifically trying to build muscle only. Your primary goal right now, my friend, if you are trying to lose weight, you're trying to lose weight. You might gain some muscle along the way, or you might simply maintain the muscle that you already have. You, you need to be 100% on board with that being kind of gravy, but not your primary goal. We can only really work towards one thing at a time. We might get some other benefit. I mean, for example, <laughs> when you're losing weight, we're definitely getting balanced practice here. We're definitely getting proprioception and core strengthening. Okay, I'm going to do that on the other side. I'm going to stand on my right foot. Whoo, doggies. Okay, left foot goes back, right hand raises forward. Oh my goodness. Okay, this actually feels easier. I must have started on the correct way this time because this side feels significantly easier. Raising my left leg behind me, raising my right hand in front of me, standing back up each and every time. Get your balance each and every time. I think I started talking about this quite some time ago about how balance is always a practice, my friends. Some days your balance might seem perfectly lovely and some days it might feel like I am flopping around like a fish out of water and it's not it's not you I mean it is but it's not you it's not something that you really have a lot of control over it's very likely how well you slept last night how hydrated you are how fueled you are how distracted you are by other thoughts in your head there are all kinds of reasons why your why your balance might not feel amazing today don't worry about it we're always practicing when it again. We're going to do something I call wide open high knees. So we're getting tougher. We're getting down to the bottom of my, my list here. Still should feel like a moderate and yet sweaty effort. Hands are going to be about chest height. We're going to bring up one high knee and on the same side we're going to open out one hand. So elbows are out at about shoulder level. So bringing up one high knee and opening up that same hand. Okay, so we've been going across the body and this now feels like we are sort of toppling over because you've picked up your foot and you're moving your same hand and it feels like we really have to compensate on the other side. Yes, that's on purpose. I designed this workout to get a little bit tougher as we go. Here's the thing about moderation. It should feel moderate, but it's still work, especially when we're getting all of these extra benefits. You know, we're not burning a ton of calories today. We're not. However, we are burning a ton of calories after 
after the workout, even more so than we do with a cardio workout. I know you guys are always asking me, how many calories did I burn during this cardio workout? And that's all well and good, that's fine, but when we do strength workouts like this, we are actually boosting our metabolism, like burning at a slightly higher rate for significantly longer than just the workout itself. And, and here's the thing that I love about this, when we are building even a little tiny bit of muscle, even the tiniest bit of muscle tone, muscles take more energy every minute of every day than other kinds of tissue in your body, like fat or your organs or your blood or anything else. So the more muscle tone we have, the more calories you're burning all the time. Okay, I'm gonna rest here for a second. Now we're gonna switch sides. So we're lifting up the left leg and opening out. And I gotta think about where my elbows are. Okay, so speaking of proprioception, thinking about where your elbows are. Are your elbows at just about shoulder height? I think mine are a little bit lower. <laughs> it feels like it at this point. This is, this is kind of no rest for the wicked with this stance of where our hands are. And that was absolutely on purpose, you guys. This, this workout is moderate, but it's still work. You guys, the other things that we're getting out of today's workout, I mean, I feel like you've probably already noticed how much balance work we're getting, how much balance practice we're getting, but that is actually one of the smartest ways to prevent falls later in life. And working with weights, any kind of resistance work, is actually one of the best ways to prevent osteoporosis later in life. Now, you might already be at an age where maybe you're falling sometimes, maybe, maybe you've already talked to the doctor about your bone density, and that is already a concern. This kind of work can still help you. You guys, when it beeps again, we are doing drinky birds. <laughs> I don't think I actually said that earlier when I was saying the, the front raise back kick thing that it wasn't a full drinky bird. If you don't know what drinky birds are, it's a single leg deadlift. We're going to raise one leg all the way back behind us. I'm gonna start by standing on my left leg. We are going to come down into a drinky bird. So you're gonna pull your right leg up behind you and then we're gonna open up the dumbbells in a fly, both hands, and then we're gonna stand back up. Now here's the thing. This is both hands, so that part is not single-sided. So let's go ahead and continue this whole interval with these flies, and then when we switch legs, we're actually gonna do a different exercise with our arms. We're gonna do rows instead of flies. So right now, we're opening up our arms wide, but then when it beeps, we're actually just gonna row those dumbbells up to our armpits. Now you guys, I know, I know that when we click on a workout and we're talking about weight loss, I know that what you want is some big result, some big, big result right now, today, like this workout burned 5,000 calories and now I've lost 10 pounds and I'm all good. And then here I am telling you, oh, we're working on your core strength and maybe you won't fall in 20 years. <laughs> and that kind of feels like, it kind of feels like, like not much, you know? <laughs> I know, I know. And that's actually the other really nice benefit of today's workout. You're working on your patience too. Nothing that we ever do with our bodies is fast. And thank goodness for it. Can you imagine? Okay, so when we go on the other side here, I'm gonna stand on my right leg. When we tip over, gonna pull that left leg up behind us, and then we're just gonna row the dumbbells up to our armpits. And then as we come back down, whew, arms just go straight back down. I actually think this one is a little bit easier, and I don't know if it's easier because I'm on my right leg, which means that my balance is easier, or if it's the arm exercise. I, I, think, I think it's a combination of both, honestly, which is kind of really nice because this is, this is the end of our workout. You guys, when it beeps again, we are done. We're just not quite finished. <laughs> I have one more thing for us that is, of course, harder than all of it. You guys, when it beeps again, we have plenty of time. We're gonna do something I call sideways star bursts. So, if you've ever done my workouts before, you might have done a star burst. It's actually, it's normally like a low impact cardio exercise. What we do is we get little and we get big. So we kind of crouch down 
And then our hands come up and out, nice and wide, up top. And then one foot comes out to the side. Well, in addition to our hands coming up and out, nice and wide, and one foot coming out, we're gonna tip over just a little bit. It's basically a combination of star balance. Again, if you've done some of my workouts, you might have done star balance before. We're just gonna tip over a little tiny bit however far you can go without falling over. The goal of the finisher <laughs> is to not fall over. So we're gonna get little and we're gonna get big out to the side. And we're gonna go back and forth on this one. It's so exciting, this finisher, it is only one interval because this is definitely the hardest thing that we've done. We're getting little, we're getting big, oh my gosh, and out to the side. Getting little and getting big. Oh, this is working literally every muscle in your body. We are working on core strength. We are working on bone health. We are working on fall prevention. We are working on muscle building or maintenance. We've got coordination, proprioception. Oh my goodness, we've got it all. And we've got it all in not too long or too difficult of a workout because that, my friends, is how we lose weight you guys in the description box below i have all kinds of resources for you if these if these ideas are kind of new to you and i know i know they're new to lots of us especially those of us who have been working out for a real long time we just always think we got to go harder and better and bigger and faster and more and i want you to know that there's some science behind doing things that are just right for our bodies. So make sure, if you're watching me on TV, I don't know how to get to the description box. I honestly don't, I don't think you can. Make sure that when you're on a desktop or on your phone later, that you come back to the video and open up the description box. Ah, and that was it. Oh my goodness. Fantastic job. Go ahead and put your weights all the way away. We're gonna cool down. But make sure that you open up the description box so that you can get all of those resources and really, really learn how to take charge of your health and your weight loss. Let's go ahead and do some arm circles with just some low tappers here on your feet. I know, I know that wasn't cardio. We didn't, I mean, I got really sweaty, honestly, but my heart rate didn't come up super, super high. So you might not feel, you might not feel like this was too much of an effort today. And I'm I tell you what, my friends, it wasn't supposed to be. <laughs> now, if today was a bit more of a push day for you, if you, have, if you have other goals in mind besides weight loss and you really were pushing with heavier weights and doing more of the work, you might like a little something else at the end here. And I will have a suggestion for you. I have all kinds of strength training workouts for you to choose from. And some of them are nice and short that can be like a little bit of an add-on. If weight loss is your main goal. My friends, on the other side of the screen, I have an extended cool down for you. Today was, I'm falling over, today was enough. Let's go ahead and open up your arms nice and wide. Stretch out your chest. Oh my gosh. And then close it up. Give yourself a big hug and a pat on the back. My friend, what a great job you did today. Now here on screen, you're also going to see a couple of other options. There's the letter P, which is an invitation to go over to Patreon, where you can make a monthly pledge that helps me make free workouts for all of us. And thank you so much for your support if you choose to do that. On the other side of the screen, that's a picture of me. It's actually a subscribe button though. <laughs> make sure that you click that and the bell notification so that YouTube will let you know every time I upload a new video. You guys, you did such a great job today. Thank you so much for working out with me. Make sure you subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.